Inventory collection in Azabix is a very popular feature that allows you to both manually and automatically collect all sort of inventory data from your host services, applications, whatever you're monitoring, and use that in some other places. If you're using this functionality, you are aware that Zabbix has a limited amount of the inventory fields that you can actually use, and there is no simple way how to add additional fields. Well, that's the purpose of this video, where I'm going to exactly show you how you can extend this list as long as you need, all those columns or, or inventory fields, whatever you want, and basically have all the flexibility that you might need. And all of the magic that I've described previously basically is achieved with Inventory Max, which is just another module written by the Init Max company, the premium Zabbix partner, which also has amazing wiki page with all sort of information, uh, widgets and modules and tutorials that you can find for your needs. Um, previous In the previous video, we talked about the widget, and the widget had basically two options. You can get a free tier, so available for everyone, and you can get also a pro tier, which comes with additional functionality. So if we talk about the Inventory Max module, which is pretty amazing, because like um, over the years, there was so much feedback from the users, like, hey, having a fixed amount of inventory fields without having an option to actually change them, is not sufficient for our needs and uh, over the years there are also all sort of workarounds how to uh, tackle the code to actually change uh, the values uh, of of the inventory fields itself but it was never like sufficient and long-term good because uh, when you upgrade your Zabbix front and all of those things could break which leads to the case that uh, we have this amazing module which supposedly solves all our problems and uh, in a difference to the widget there is actually no free tier of this module because it does pretty straightforward thing you can create your custom inventory fields as much as you need uh, json data storage in notes inventory field like create custom inventory fields in the init max module and stores in the notes inventory field of the typical Zabbix inventory, right? And seamless integration with the metric max, which is just another, uh, I think it was module that we're going to take a look a bit later. Uh, price for this module is basically $200. I will add a discount code in the description in the comments probably also on the screen so that you guys can get 20 percent discount uh, for this purchase and a code will apply to any other widgets or modules that you can find in the in it back store as well so how to set all of this up you just click get a pro version add a check boxes order with a payment confirmation here you will need to enter the coupon code that you can find under the video and then fill in all the information required here about uh, the payment. After that is going to be done, uh, you will receive an email with a uh, Git account to the actual repository uh, where this module is stored. Like here, uh, Git clone uh, free. I'm not sure if there's a free version. And we can actually try for ourselves. Let's just grab the free tier link uh, copy paste it here so we can get an access to uh git repository uh, kind of to the free one but uh as you can see the pro version available this is a pro only product the full version with all the features is available through init max pro subscription so you still kind of need to purchase it if you want so don't forget to use the discount code when you will do that, when you will purchase, you will receive the link uh, to the Git repository. You will have to, you will get all the instructions in the email. But to long story short, you will have to reset your password, uh, create a new password so that you are able to log in to Git Init Max uh, portal. Then, if that's your first time in a Git, it's gonna say here that to successfully pull or or clone repositories or something like that something like that you actually need to add your ssh key and there's going to be a cta button to actually do that uh, how to do that you just open your linux uh, terminal uh, and type ssh key again uh, do all the stops do all the steps you will get uh, the public key uh, written down let's actually do that I will save it in the TMP test just for the sake of this testing. No passphrase done. So where is the public key? 
it is here. So this is the public key that you actually need to copy paste, then go back to the git init max portal, click here on a CTA that will state add the key, add the key, and then you're good to clone it. To clone it, we need to go back to the installation. So basically, we need to run a git clone where to do that either in a user share Zabbix or user share Zabbix UI, and then a modules directory. So for me, it is a user share Zabbix UI modules because I'm using Zabbix 7.4 for my example. If you have like Zabbix 7.0 as example, for you, it's going to be user share Zabbix modules. Then where we are, when we are inside, uh, you will just go to your repository where you received a uh, link to and reset the password and added the SSH key and basically click on the clone button here, then go back to CLI, type git clone and paste the URL that you just copy pasted. When you will do that, you'll see here a new folder called uh, Zabbix UI modules inventory max pro. And the only thing that we are still pending to do is change the owner uh, of this directory to make sure that the Zabbix frontend is actually able to use it. Uh, since I have Apache as a web engine, I need to change it to this owner. So copy paste, uh, go back to your CLI execute command here and make sure that you set up the correct permission. These basically are the only steps that you need to do in um, in the SSH. So the next thing for you is to open your Zabbix frontend, uh, which for me is here. And as I said, I'm using latest Zabbix 745 here, like leftovers from the previous video about the widget. And first thing first, you need to go administration, general modules, and here you will need to find inventory max. This is what we added right now. And we added it to the modules um, modules folder, but if it's not appearing here, you need to click scan directory. After that, it's a quick operation, no new modules discovered. It will appear here and it's gonna be disabled by default. So don't be shy and click enable. Once your inventory max module is enabled, all the configuration is done in administration inventory ma inventory max fields config so click here and this is where we actually do the magic fields they are the macro itself is like autocomplete uh, you just type in the name and that translates automatically to the macro so that is easy and then we have another column list columns that is what we will see in our inventory page so let me show you an example if we go here in inventory you see that we have a new button inventory max where we have one host Zabbix server, list column typo, whatever, label ASD and label one, list columns one. So let's go back to the configuration. I'll open a separate tab to make it easier. So we have two fields, fields name and fields name one. And we have two macroses from it, right? This part is what we don't really see here. We see it if we click it here. Fields name, fields name. And we populate it with a value ASD from this screen. And that value sits behind inventory macro, inventory max fields name. So if we want to show it in inventory max here, under the label here, see, this ASD comes from, comes, from here, update, there we go. But this one doesn't change, right? I can change ASD and it still shows list columns, column one, because here in a list columns, here we have a macro. So this macro actually reveals as the value that we put in. And here we don't have a macro that way. That's why this is static value. So click update, go back here. This is static value. Something that we enter here doesn't actually change it, but this one comes from the value entered on the host. Um, how to make this reflect from the value? Very simple. Go in your configuration, find the fields. Here is our second field, inventory max fields name one, copy paste the macro name and put it here in a column setting. Click update. That updated. Go back here, refresh the page. And right now, this value, this value is also respected ah, limitation. 
Uh, let's call it value two. Update. It's numeric, right? Type numeric, that's why we I've entered string, but it convert to the zero. So if I will type in number like this, it will actually show the real number. So this is how you can create all sort of inventory fields as you wish. You can also change the sorting here if you want. You can strip unresolved macroses. And then for the full scope of the magic, like if you go to the usual inventory in Zabbix host inventory, Zabbix server, um, go to the details. It's not the best place to show it. Let's go better here. Click on a Zabbix server host inventory. We have a field called notes, inventory field called notes. And this field is used by inventory max module. And here are all of the values that we configured that we've set up in a JSON format. So if we want to, we can later use this in other uh, places in some custom media types if we want to use that in notifications. So we have everything in a JSON that we can extract and utilize in whatever way we need. So hope this was helpful. That's how you can set up and uh, use your inventory max module. If you do have any questions, just post them for me in the comments. I will do my best to answer all of you guys. Uh, thank you for your time. See you guys later.